In this next section, we will be discussing arcs and their relationship to um, the interior angles of a circle. So just a quick um, recap of what we know about circles. You guys know that if you have a circle, um, this line contains 180 degrees and on both sides 180 plus 180. So the interior of a circle, the interior of a circle would contain 360 degrees. So there are 360 degrees in a circle. All right, so continuing on with arcs, arcs, here we go. So one of the first things that you guys need to know is actually how to write it. So here's an arc AB, all right, and here's how you would write it. It's similar to how you would write a line segment or a line or uh, a ray or something like that. However, uh, it has an arc piece to it. So what is an arc? Uh, we have an, two different types of arcs, a major and a minor arc, and they are pieces of the circumference, a major arc and a minor arc. Okay, so a minor arc would measure less than, a minor arc would measure less than 180 degrees. Okay, so I could have a minor arc that measures just like this, it's a piece of the circumference all the way like this, as long as it doesn't pass the 180 degree mark. All right, so that would be a semicircle. A semicircle would be exactly 180 degrees. And the major arc would be whatever uh, the minor arc is taken away from 360. So 360 minus the minor arc. So there is a relationship between the interior angle and the measure of the minor arc, so the central angle here. So I would say that the measurement of arc AB would be equal to 85 degrees here. So that would be considered a minor arc since it is less than 180. And I would go ahead and take that away from 360 degrees, so 360 minus 85 equals 275 degrees. And when we name major arcs, it is likely that we are going to need to uh, have more than one variable, just like sometimes how we need to get specific with naming our angles. Here we would need to do that as well. So the major arc, I would either name ACB or arc BCA. We do have to keep in mind the order that you go. Order is very important here because if I say ABC, ABC would cover this right side and that would not be the arc that I am talking about. So the measurement of those arcs would be 275 degrees. And just like uh, any other theorem that when we've gotten to it, if certain pieces are congruent, then um, it will maintain a couple of different properties. So let me draw another circle here. Let's call this center C. And I've got A and B and D and F. D and F, all right. So let's go ahead and say this central angle for ACB, this is 45 degrees. And let's go ahead and say this is 45 degrees as well. So that means that the measure of the arc AB, measure of the arc AB would be equal to 45 degrees. And the measure of arc DF would be equal to 45 degrees as well. Since their central angles are congruent, their arcs are congruent. And just like a uh, segment addition, where if I had a segment, let's say this was two and this was seven, I would be able to add it all together to say the whole segment is nine. We can add arcs as well. So let me flip to another example. All right, here's my center C. And let's say A, B, all right, A, B, D, E, okay, 
and I'll go ahead and say this is 45, 30, and um, 60. I know that might look a little off. So I can certainly add arc AB plus arc BD. Hmm. Arc BD plus arc DE. I can add those together and their measures um, to get, now keep in mind the order does matter, so I could say A, B, E, or A, D, E, something like that. Uh, I'll go with A, B, E to get arc A, B, E. You can certainly add arcs together, and that measurement would be equal to 45 plus 30 plus 60 degrees, so that's 90 plus 35, or 135 degrees. And that would be the, its measurement, because the central angles and the arcs go together. There is just one more theorem that this section covers. It's to find the actual arc length. So the actual length of um, that piece of the circumference. So we did find the different measure. There's a difference between the measure of the arc, measure of the arc. That was measured in degrees. So for example here, if I name this AB, arc AB, arc AB, the measure of arc AB would be equal to 86 degrees because the central angle goes with it. However, here I am looking for the length, the length. And that is something that would, for example, be measured in centimeters. And we're going to be using a proportion in order to solve for this arc length. So um, we've actually used this proportion before. And I'm going to write it out. So the arc length, arc length, all right, so that's a piece over the entire circumference. So if you remember, the formula for circumference is 2 pi r should be equal to the central angle central angle over the total degrees in a circle which was 360. This should look familiar. Now in order to actually solve for arc length, arc length I would be able to multiply each side by 2 pi r. On the left side it would cancel out. So strictly speaking if I want to find the arc length which in most of these problems, that's what we'll be solving for. You'll need your central angle over 360 degrees multiplied by the circumference. So in this case, you would solve an 8 for your radius and 86 for your central angle. So this would be 86 over 360 times 16 pi. And once you do that math, it would come out to about 12.01, keep in mind your units here, all right, it's going to be 12.01 centimeters since it's a length. And that's the extent uh, that we will need to cover for this section.